Hello, welcome back. In this video, I'm going to share with you guys the three secrets that we use to fill our fish box up on every fishing trip. These three tips are the three rules that we use on tournaments and just when we're out either chartering or fishing for ourselves. And these rules are going to help you put more fish in your box. So make sure you hit that subscribe button right down there and check this out. Okay, so on each one of these rules or tips, however you want to look at them, we'll explain what it's about, why you should use it, and where the exceptions might be when you need to think about not using it. So first up is rule number one. This is very important, and you can ask anyone who's ever fished with us, they'll hear us say this multiple times a day. Rule number one, don't fish where there ain't no fish. All of you guys have sonar, structure scan, down scan, side scan, fish finders, um, all kinds of crap. Use it. And if you don't see any fish there, don't stop the fish. Don't say, well, I don't see any fish, but we'll try it anyway. You'll end up wasting a whole bunch of time when you should have run a little further, a little farther, and found the fish that you're trying to catch. So rule number one always applies no matter what. Let's say you've been catching fish. You're on a spot, you're catching fish really good, and then you stop catching fish. The fish stop biting. Rule number one applies. Don't fish where there ain't no fish. You may even see a big school of fish on the fish finder and start dropping lines into them, uh, drifting, jigging, trolling, everything you try, nothing works, they're not biting, they might as well not even be there. Rule number one, don't fish where there ain't no fish. So let's move on to rule number two. Rule number two, don't leave fish to find fish. You guys will be on the spot catching keepers, but maybe you're looking for a little bit bigger class of fish and you're catching fish really well. Don't be greedy. Do what you gotta do, catch your limit, and move on. If you're not keeping a limit, you're just catching them for fun, and you really want to catch bigger fish, and you're catching smaller keepers, then maybe you can let rule number two not apply. But generally, you don't leave fish to find fish. Most of us fish out there for fun, but also to fill up that freezer, and putting a limit in the box is a good way to end the day. Once the limit's in there, you can go screw around for the rest of the day and waste time. But if you leave those fish to go find other fish, there's a good chance you'll spend a whole lot of day burning gas instead of catching fish like you were before you left the fish to go find more fish. Rule number three, this rule is gonna apply when you're on a spot and it gets real crowded, starts getting crazy, people are fishing all up on top of you, crossing lines, uh, somebody drops an anchor right in the middle of your drift. There's all kinds of reasons that this rule applies. Rule number three, find your own damn fish. And unfortunately, you may have already found your own fish and somebody else has decided and 300 other people have decided they want those fish too. Well, guess what? None of us own the water. We don't own the bay, we don't own the wrecks, we don't own the Bay Bridge Tunnel, we don't own inshore spots. It's public water for everybody. So if it gets real crowded and starts getting uncomfortable, go find your own fish away from everybody else. You're gonna have a better day, a lot less stress, and a lot safer too. Now sometimes you get to fish in a crowd where a whole lot of people who really know what they're doing are working together. A good example is last February we were fishing the wreck offshore with one of the big party boats from the Rudy fleet out of Virginia Beach. And I got to tell you, that captain of that big boat really did well with the other smaller boats around him. Everybody worked as kind of like a team. There was a little dance going in there with the drift and everyone worked the wreck. Everybody caught limits of fish. It was black sea bass, nice fish. And it was a pleasure working around that many boat captains that knew what they were doing and were courteous. I'm not saying it didn't get close at times, but it was never unsafe. It was never worrying about tangling up somebody else's line. Everybody had a great time and that's the way it should be. But generally speaking, you'll know when it starts getting ugly on the spot and just make a move. You should always have at least three plans on any fishing trip and that's gonna be your bonus tip. So the bonus tip isn't a rule, but it's definitely something that you guys should live by, especially if you're saltwater fishing offshore, really even freshwater fishing on a big body of water. It costs a lot of money to drag these boats out, pay a ramp fee, pay the fuel, maintenance, everything else, boat payments, insurance, to run these boats to go fishing. So when you spend all that time, effort, and treasure to do it, you better have more than one plan. There's no instance where you ought to say, hey, we're going fishing, where are we gonna go? I don't know, we'll go to so-and-so lake and put the boat in the water and figure it out when we get there. Pretty bad plan. Every time our boat leaves to go fishing, we have at least plan A, plan B, and plan C. Most of the times we got plan D and plan E too, just in case. We know what we wanna do, but as you guys know, sometimes mother nature doesn't read the script and you gotta change on the fly. That's when you start applying rules one, two, and three to make sure you fill that fish box up on that trip. So there you go, our three main rules to fishing and filling up a fish box and the bonus tip on planning your trip. 
to be sure you can utilize those three rules to get that fish box full. Now, if you found this video helpful, which you should have, give me that thumbs up like button. Leave me a comment below. If you have questions, I'd be glad to answer them. Make sure you hit that subscribe button down there. Thanks for watching. We'll see you next time. Now this one's going to apply when things get crowded. You guys might be the, the hell? <laughs> hmm, that mic must work pretty good, huh? That was my Runkle tackle box falling over. <laughs>